Hi, so this is Megan. I get really um, into a certain look for a while before I kind of move on to the next one. And lately I've been really into super, super dark lips. Um, I was into super sheer lips in the summertime. We had such a hot year, no rain. Now all of a sudden it's really cool rain. Um, so I'm really into these super dark plums, burgundies, blackened colors. The ones that look black-ish in the tube. I can't go fully black. It just is a little cool, too cool tone for me actually. And maybe too stark. I guess I probably could, but I don't. But when I was researching a couple of shades, I found a really great set of promo photos from a Chanel lipstick that I think came out about two years ago. I'm not completely sure because it's one that doesn't have a lot of reviews or pictures or whatever. Um, it was limited edition. Seemed kind of here and then gone really fast, but I did find it on eBay. And it's new. It smells like Chanel. Um, I used to only buy Chanel for a little while, so I recognize that Chanel smell and compare it. And it's in the really cool Chanel case, which as I was researching this, I didn't realize, but the Chanel case, I guess they put a lot of effort into making it a little cooler toned metal than most other lipsticks. This was kind of an interesting fact I found out. And when I was feeling I'm like, yeah, you know, it is cooler toned. It is more metallic. It's kind of cool. Very interesting shade. So this is called number 18, Rouge Noir, and it's the Coco Rouge formula, which I really like. I find this particular formula um, has great coverage. And I just have a weird lighting today in here for, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, that doesn't help. It has really great coverage. It's a smooth, creamy formula. And also, it's opaque enough and covers the lips and also wears really beautifully. So when you wear a darker shade like this, first of all, I find I have to be really careful in the application um, because anything that's slightly off, it's so dark, you can absolutely see it. Sometimes I'll use a sheer lip liner just to make it stay in place a little bit better or the OCC Black Dahlia pencil is really great also um, but some of these shades tend to be more likely to bleed, end up on your uh, teeth, feather, wear unevenly it's just because they're so dark any imperfection shows a lot more. So the Rouge, Coco Rouge formula to me is one I really like. It has kind of a nice satin finish, very even coverage, a light feel on the lips. This particular color will wear about four hours, three hours, three hours on me. Um, I do feel with the darker shades, I do need to look at them after about two hours and just touch it up a little bit. That's more me than the shade. What's also really pretty with this particular shade, or the darker shades in general, is just patting it on or patting it off if you put too much on and just getting like a stain, a wash of color. They do stain, usually. This one does. Um, but just that really soft look probably is more wearable than like the full dark color that I have on here. So anyway, this is what it looks like. I got this on eBay for $36. It wasn't from some weird province in China, or it was from the United States, and it's the dark, dark bullet. And, I don't know, I thought the promo photos looked a little bit darker than it looks on me, but it's pretty dark on me. And it's a hard color to describe, because it's like a purplish brown red. So if you think about it this way, it's like a dark, it's got dark chocolate and plum undertones, with a burgundy red, but like a blackened burgundy red. So it's really um, an unusual shade. I guess this was popular in the 90s. Uma Thurma wore this shade in Pulp Fiction. I don't know how that relates to the Urban Decay Pulp, Pulp, Pulp Fiction lipstick. Maybe she wore different ones. And then it sold out, and then it just kind of faded. Um, but I just, I think it's a really beautiful color. So if you can find it on eBay, I'm trying to make sure that the lighting shows the color itself. Just every different time of day, the lights are different. Um, it's really gorgeous. I love it. So I got it $36 on eBay. It's still around. I think it's about two years old. And it's this really great chocolate, burgundy, black, purple, plum thing that wears beautifully. Anyway, uh, if you have this or other shades you would recommend, I would love to hear it. Please subscribe on YouTube. And then like I always do, I'm putting links to my book, Masks About Makeup and the Masks We Wear, in the description to this video. Thanks and happy holidays.